This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube from BPFS, that's Bravo, Papa, Foxtrot, Sierra. This is our second from last video for our free bookkeeping course. Our last video we looked at closing accounts. What do you do with these closing figures? Quite simply, we take them to create management reports. Um, and in these videos, I'm going to show you how they're taken to create a profit and loss statement and a balance sheet. So our accounts or ledgers are all closed and we're going to look at a profit and loss. I think the name is quite self-explanatory. A profit and loss statement shows the profit or loss the company made within a certain period. Now there are two stages to a profit and loss. There's calculating the gross profit and then the net profit. The formulas are sales minus cost of sales equals gross profit and then to calculate your net profit it's your gross profit minus your overheads equals net profit. Okay, so we would bring our close and sales figures. You may have a number of sales figures to add together. You may have sales north, sales south, east, west, or online sales, shop sales. But you'd enter your total sales figures in here. So let's just say it's 2,000. Our cost of sales are those expenses to the business that have a direct relationship with our sales. So for example, if we were selling items on eBay, the cost of sale would be the cost of the product we purchased to resell on eBay. Or if we were a manufacturer, it would be the cost of all the raw materials we purchase to create our product and then resell it. It's expenses to the business that have a direct relationship to a sale. So let's say the cost of sales was 500. So 2000 minus 500 is 1500 gross profit. So our net profit is our gross profit, which is 1500 minus overheads equals our net profit and that's our actual profit and loss figure for the period so what are overheads overheads are expenses or costs that don't have a direct relationship they have an indirect relationship so and we call these variable costs and these are things like electric rent petrol vehicle expenses these indirect costs are normally referred to as overheads but are generally costs that are not in our control so let's put 200 200 100 and 50 just to make this simple so that's 550. So 1500 minus our expenses is 950. And that's our net profit.